So today we're out mulching our garden. We do the deep mulch method, which means that we don't have to do a lot of weeding. Um, and it also composts as the moisture in the ground mixes with the straw and then it decomposes and feeds our garden. So we'll also, come spring, we'll take all the deep bedding that we have in for the chickens and we will throw that out here and mix it all in there um, before it give it about six or eight weeks before it's time to plant and that'll all break down and compost as well. So we're feeding our garden and we're simplifying life so that we don't have to do as much weeding. And it's supposed to snow today so we're trying to get it all on the ground before the snow hits. So part of our homeschooling with the kiddos is just learning everyday life skills, um, a good work ethic, and um, just learning to work together as a team, be kind with each other, and pull the load together. So we do a lot of these kind of projects around our homestead. This is a good example of many hands makes light work. Good job, kiddo. This is Owen. He's our manager over here on where to dump it, and he spreads and gets it all even. We're putting it about six inches deep over here. And that way there won't be any sunlight when it comes time for the weeds to all grow again in the spring. Now if you're growing an organic garden, one thing you really want to make sure you're careful about is where you source your straw or hay or whatever mulch it is that you're putting down on your garden. You want to make sure that it comes from a farm that's not covering it with pesticides and um, it's not some kind of a genetically modified plant. All of those things can go down in and affect your soil and the way that your plants grow. So when we got ours, we talked to the local farmer here and asked him several different questions to make sure that what we were getting was not going to harm the organic nature of our garden or you know, be detrimental to the bugs and bacteria that we wanted to grow in our garden. Woo, we did it! The snow began to fall right as we were finishing up. And there's no better reward than fresh baked peach cobbler made with home canned peaches.